continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. In keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate a benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Close. They'll be spotted for sure and we'll lose our advantage. 
They may have the numbers, but we've got surprise on our side. Hopefully that's enough. Yet, we need to take out those remaining soldiers. I've got the trap on them. Permission to engage. Do it. right now. Be careful. Central, reporting in. You are late. What have you been doing down there? Taking in the sights. What the hell are these things? They're us. At least they used to be. Human hybrid soldiers. Advent's reward for obedience and service. We've all heard rumors. I just never believed it was true. No one wanted to. But we find what we're looking for today. I promise you that's gonna change. Let's move. Looks like that transmission went through. You have an advent transport closing on your position. You heard her. Cover the left side. I'm on it. Keep your eyes peeled. Fire on anything that moves. The main 
entrance is clear. We need to move on the package. security protocols. They were never expecting anyone to get this close. Firebrand is holding nearby for evac. 
but it's now or never, Central. Understood. We're on the move. Don't take it. Contend with. Wish we had more time. I don't disagree. But as it stands now, we risk losing the patient if we don't begin the removal procedure immediately. We are ready. Good. Then let's get on with it. Remarkable. Just like 20 years ago. We were still calling it a war back then. The cerebral cortex. Good. Prepping for cranial intrusion. I've managed to identify the connection. Preparing to make final incision. These readings are getting really erratic. Of course they are. These implants were never designed to be removed. We are risking severe... No plan B here, people. Do it.
capillary response normal. Vital stabilizing. Procedure complete. Told him it would take more than that to keep you down. Welcome back, Commander. Glad to see you're finally coming out of it. Don't envy the headache you must have, though. Still, can't fault Dr. Tigan. Especially as no one's even attempted something like this before. Easy. We're still not entirely sure what they did to you. That chip was buried halfway into your skull. Lost a lot of good soldiers looking for you over the years. Almost gave up hope you were still out there. Acted on the intel as soon as I got word. Not sure what you remember, but uh, a lot's changed. Did the best I could, but the last 20 years have been tough without you. You feel like catching up. Shen has the archive up and running on your terminal. Otherwise, I'd go see Dr. Tigan when you're ready. There's some things you should know. He'll be better at explaining them than me. It's damn good to have you back, Commander. Commander to the research labs. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power, yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. On your order, Commander. I will begin researching the Advent chip for possible insights as to its function. That work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. That research will keep Tigan busy for a while. In the meantime, you might want to head down to the armory. Commander. Commander, Jane Kelly was instrumental in the op to get you back. She earned enough experience for a promotion. We should take care of that now. The Ranger serves as our primary reconnaissance unit, capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. We're off to a good start. Our troops will only get stronger as they gain experience. Commander, to the bridge. I heard you, Shen. When we get the thing, you'll be the first to know. Attention! Unauthorized presence detected. Commander! 
Give me a second. Execute Echelon Protocol. Attention. Senior Command Exchange confirmed. I had wanted that to be a little more... ceremonious. But we've got something. A local resistance cell just located this hybrid magnetic power converter that Shen's been pushing us to find. They tracked the device to a nearby advent convoy and are attempting to take it down. If we can bring this converter back in one piece, we might actually get this place up and running and give the aliens a real war for a change. A squad is prepped and ready to launch on your order, Commander. Just give the word. Communications with resistance forces in the area have gone dark, which can only mean one thing. These people sacrificed everything to give us this shot. We need to recover that converter at all costs. but it looks like it may have been damaged during the fight. Energy readings are going crazy. I'm guessing we don't have much time before it explodes. Shen's working on a way to stabilize that thing, provided we can get close enough to access its core. Stay in the shadows until we can get a better read on the situation. I'm on it. I'm on it. Move it to Overwatch. Moving to designated coordinates. Overwatch. Confirmed. Eyes on the prize. Orders confirmed. Moving out.
The Advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. Commander, we have a chance to do some serious damage here. Before jumping into combat, let's make sure we make the most of our advantage. Okay, you should be able to hack into that thing's safety protocols and stabilize it. Shen is uploading the fix right now. resemblance to the sectoids first encountered during the invasion, their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever, with an even greater psionic potential. Commander, we're running out of time here. If we don't stabilize the converter soon, I don't think anybody's going home today.
getting it done. It's about to blow. Overwatch. Overwatch. Move into Overwatch. Rowan. accomplished.
of our people earned well-deserved promotions, Commander. I'm guessing Shen will probably want to have a word with you, too. Operating some of our most advanced equipment, specialists deploy robotic drones on the battlefield that can be outfitted for combat or field medic duty. Just like it sounds, our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range. They're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter. Serving as our demolitions experts, the Grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. ongoing efforts against the aliens. When you have a moment, Commander, I have made some interesting discoveries as they relate to the implant we removed from you earlier. Okay, reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. <laughs> Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer, at your service. You are probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. I can't promise any miracles, Commander, but I should be able to put some of this stuff together in no time at all. I'd suggest we get started with a med kit. It'll probably come in handy sooner rather than later. I'm on it, Commander. Looks like Tygen has made progress on his research. We should meet him in the lab. So much of my own research based upon this simple design. If only I had known. Ah, Commander. Excellent timing. There's been some... progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip implanted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. 
With the primary connection severed, much of that data is lost. Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. Tactical combat simulations. War games. The sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It... It is truly remarkable that you survived as long as you did. Though this may seem disconcerting, there is still some good news. This chip bears a striking resemblance to a medical implant I briefly assisted in developing at the Gene Therapy Clinic in New Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking Advent officers only, captains or above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. New objective added. The Advent officers have clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically. The implanted chip is the key. I do find that area of research to be among the more intriguing options available. We'll begin work immediately. I'll send word when a complete report is available. Looks like Shen got that converter up and running, Commander. We're ready for you on the bridge. Just stay clear of the perimeter, understood? Commander. Good. I think we got something here. Despite all of Advent's efforts, there are still people who refuse to believe their lies. And it's time we let them know they're not alone. We've already located a target for our first operation. Sir! Given our current location, there's actually no way the Sky Ranger could reach that position. Who said anything about the Sky Ranger? Shen, status report. Are we ready? Short answer? Yes. But you might all want to hold on to something. Sector 15, West Asia. We're ready to start making moves, Commander. By hitting Advent wherever we find them, we can help strengthen the Resistance. In return, they'll contribute material and personnel to support our operations. Commander, it looks like Shen prepped a med kit for us. We should equip one of our soldiers with it before they deploy. 